Right, Mintz began with the tragic uh, passing of this young uh, girl last night. The class went on to say about how every, every, everything's a message and everything has something to say to the person. Um, what did this girl do wrong? And what should we be getting from this? And what? What should we be getting from this? What message should we be taking from this? Well, as we know, that uh, not the first time a child has been uh, uh, was killed by an accident. It happens relatively often, and uh, car accident or this accident, that accident, and sometimes infants are uh, in accidents, and some babies are born with uh, uh, defects and so on. So it's a question of. Uh, not this particular terrible accident that happened yesterday, but it's an ongoing question. And uh, the way we answer that question in the most simple way is that we believe that people are born over again and they have to uh, uh, atone for something they did the first time they came to this world, they did something wrong, and they have to atone for that. And uh, sometimes it doesn't take too long for that to happen. And uh, obviously this girl, this little girl who was burned, uh, something she had to go through in order to give her final uh, perfection to get into the world and, sh and heaven. And w that's exactly what happened. And uh, it's a tragedy for us to see it happening, but for her, I'm sure she's very happy now where she is, that she finally got what was uh, missing in her previous life and now she came to the high level of, uh, of, of, of perfection, which uh, she wanted very much to happen. And uh, we have to, on one hand, be very sad the child is not with us any longer. But on the other hand, we would be also have a good feeling that she has come to the final rest, which you're able to enjoy. I don't know if I said this about the mikveh. I said over to mikveh recently over here. I said recently uh, from the house of an oval of a child that was that passed away, that uh, there was a story about it's a real story of a couple who uh, didn't have any children, and they went to the rabbi to ask for a type of zechus and merit the mitzvah they should do for God to give them a child, and uh, the rabbi said that the town does not have a mikveh, a mikveh which is very important for Jewish people to. Uh, even on, on time of, 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 of that we live today, that uh, mikvah is very important for a woman to go every month to a mikvah to make us per permitted to live with her husband. So a person have to have a mikvah in the place that they are, and they didn't have a mikvah in, in that area. So the rabbi said, and you're, they had a nice uh, home over there, the land, make a mikvah in your uh, uh, property, and that'll be a big mitzvah for you. So they went in, they did it, and they had a child. And guess what? The child was young, and he drowned in the mikvah. So they were out of their caleb. They, they, they just couldn't find peace. How is that possible? It's possible. After all that, and they did the mitzvah, and they got the child, and that mikvah that they made. So it was, it was revealed to them through themselves, and somebody had a dream either the rabbi or them, I don't exactly had it, and they told him, you have to understand. This child that you had was in this world once before. They died as a mature adult, but they could not go into the heavenly reward. The person goes after the shama, goes after they died because they were missing, immersing themselves in the mikvah. And they had to come back to this world to go to mikvah to have their final tikkun to fill them, to ma make them uh, fit for that to happen. And they asked this neshama, which mikvah would you like to go to that you think would be? I want to go to that mikvah because those people are such pious people and they made that mikvah for, 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 for a mitzvah and they're, in, and they're very special. I want to be in that mikvah. So that's what happened. They had the child, the mikvah, the, the, the child died, the and now he came to the other world, and he's the happiest person, and he's so grateful to the parents, to the parents. they brought him to the world, and is able to have his final tikkun. 
So when we see things like this look like a big tragedy, it's a tragedy for us in this world, but for that neshama, it's a great purpose that it happened and this great simcha for them that they're able to come to the final resting. Nitzchias, eternal peace and reward that they'll be able to enjoy forever after.